Hello, my name is Connor Walsh. I'm a co-founder of the Robopsy project and I'm an instructor at Mass General Hospital and a research affiliate here in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at MIT. And my name is Nevin Hanumar. I'm the other co-founder and I'm finishing up a PhD in MIT. So we'd like to just briefly talk to you today about a small lightweight robotic system that we've developed that helps doctors place needles and probes more accurately under image guided procedures. So the basic way this device operates is patients do not come with a coordinate system but we have wonderful medical images that show that right in here is where I'd like to target. So the idea is the doctor plans the procedure and then uses the robot, places it on the patient and the robot does the extremely difficult part of calculating the exact angles and inserting the needle precisely. Once it's in place, the doctor then collects a tissue sample and everything continues as normal. So this device is really inspired by a real medical need where we identified exactly what parts of the procedure do the doctors do well today and what parts of it could they use some small lightweight robotic assistance for. So, so I think one thing that this device really represents is that it's inspired by observing doctors perform the procedure today. So, you know, this device represents kind of the, the scale and elegance of a human hand. So we didn't want to develop a big system that would, you know, be prohibitively, you know, take up too much space inside the medical imaging suite. But we looked at a doctor's hand can basically perform the angulation, perform the manipula manipulation and the insertion of the needle today. So we were like, how about we design a device on the scale of a human hand that can do the motions that a human hand does, but allows the doctor to extend in to the imaging bore while the patient is in there. So the doctor is protected from radiation, the patient is getting imaged, and the doctor is still able to perform the procedure. And at all times for this, the doctor is fully in control. You know, we haven't eliminated the doctor from this procedure. They're kind of making decisions based on guidelines that as the system is outlining to them.